check that out. What's up Crystal family? Good morning from Wagner Crystal Mines. I'm actually about to go to the Phantom Mine. So I'm gonna go inside of the store, get signed up and then they'll drive you up to the actual mine site where you get to dig through tailings and hopefully we'll find some black phantoms today. So let's do this. Alright, so I am standing in front of this main commercial pit here at the Wagner Phantom Mine. As you can see behind me, the pit is filled with water right now because we had a lot of rain. But this is basically where they do mine the crystals. So what they do is they find the white quartz veins, follow those until they open up into crystal pockets and that's where they'll find the points and clusters. After they do the mining, they would bring up the leftover dirt dump it on top of the mine that is called the tailings and that's where you'll actually get to dig for your own crystals so that's what we'll be doing today i hope you guys enjoy i'll see you at the tailings pile i am on the tailings pile right now i'm looking around there has been an awesome rain last night so i think there's going to be a lot of stuff just showing right on the surface all right check that out okay so it looks like there's a nice cluster right there Oh, nice. Look at that beauty. So here you can see what a phantom actually is. If you look at that little crystal, you see that black inclusion on the inside. That's a manganese inclusion and it gets trapped in there as the crystal grows. So this is a cute little perfect phantom. Super cool. So I'm thinking this may be some worth checking out. Oh yeah. What we have here is a beautiful tabby crystal. So you can see it's super flat. That's definitely an awesome piece. All right, check out what was hiding underneath that leaf. Another really cool tabula crystal. Beautiful. I see something back there. All right, looks like a nice, almost double terminated point. Look at that cool cluster. Almost reminds me of a geode. Now look at that big one just right on the surface. Okay, I see some super nice in between the boulders. Awesome. Check that out. The surface collecting is going really well and I wanted to share three tips with you guys on how you can successfully surface collect for crystals. Number one, look for the darkest, reddest clay. The rule of thumb is the redder the better. So whenever you see really dark rich clay that's always a good sign because that's the kind of clay that came out of the crystal pockets. Tip number two, always look for the sparkle. If the sun is shining and it hits the crystal just right the facet will reflect that light and sparkle amazingly. So whenever you see that sparkle go ahead and follow that light until you find the crystal. And tip number three, look for the black glass. What I call black glass is actually super clear crystals. So when you see some that's halfway buried in the ground and it looks like black glass, it's actually gonna be a nice clear crystal. So can you spot this one? Pretty easy to see right there. Looks like another nice clear point. Now you also get a lot of lookalikes on that black glass, what I call black glass, and these are just pieces of shale. So after a while, you'll kind of recognize the difference between the two check out this thing all right look at that beauty just right on the surface okay so I'm kind of gonna show you what I mean by just walking around and surface collecting Check that out, another one. There's one. And look at that one. So literally, 
within one minute I was able to pick up all of these within these few steps. And they were all right on the surface, some beautiful jewelry points. Okay, check out this little cluster right here. It looks like it has got a bunch of little phantoms in it. Once again, digging after rain is definitely the way to go as you can find all kinds of bigger crystals like this one just right on the surface. Okay, so here you can see the phantom really well on the back side of this crystal. You can see that black inclusion. As you can tell, I've mostly been using my hands to dig up these crystals because most of them are just right on the surface. But you should definitely go ahead and bring some tools. For tailings, I mostly recommend like a three-prone garden cultivator or some like a rock hounder's pick that has a wide side on it so you can actually move some dirt. You could also bring like a shovel or something. And then basically you don't just want to dig somewhere randomly, you want to find a good spot that looks promising. I found this nice cluster right here and as you can tell a lot of these crystals will probably have broken off and will be all around this cluster. So this would actually be a good spot to start digging. So as you can tell, it's a little bit harder to see the crystals when you dig like this. It's definitely much easier to see them right on the surface. But sometimes you get lucky and you actually find some really nice and big. Alright, so I am walking the tailings pile. And there's all kinds of smaller little crystals showing that are super easy for picking. Now check out this beauty. That looks like a great cluster right there. It may even have a little bit of black inside of it. Okay, I think I'm spotting the best find of the day so far. Check that out. Now this specimen shows the black phantom really well. As you can see that's a double terminator right here that has a black phantom inclusion. Looks like there's a bunch of nice points on this one. Okay, look at that super clear one right there. Nice. Get another little crystal. It's actually got a black inclusion, so here's another phantom crystal. It's super rare. A little bit hard to find, but well worth it. So here's some super cool. I call these guys X marks to spot rock. And it's kind of a small version of what happens when two crystal veins meet. And you usually find a nice pocket where that happens. All right, guys, I gotta wrap it up here at the Wagner Phantom Mine. We are just about to leave the mine and head back down to their store. It's been a great time at the mine site. I always love getting my hands into the dirt and especially when I get to pull out beautiful crystals. So I did find a few phantoms. I found lots of clear points. And if you guys want to go to the Wagner Phantom Mine, just go ahead and give them a call because you do need reservations for this mine site. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please give it a big thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe to my channel. So I'll see you for the next video. Aloha. Oh my gosh, how beautiful. <laughs>